Hey gang, just before we kick off the episode and hand over to the other ham, thank you to Ford Gaming for your comment. This train is yours. Train 63 is now Ford Gaming. We can see right here. So thanks very much, mate. Thanks for your support. And uh, thanks for taking that train. Now, Mr. Ben McGregor, who <laughs> wanted train 69. Unfortunately, we don't have a train 69 yet. But uh, you know what? I was going to put you on train 64. But just because you wanted train 69 so much, I will wait until we get train 69 and then that will be yours my friend so now we can hand over to him look at this place is actually going gangbusters now gee whiz okay don't get excited we've got other places on the map to visit today stay tuned for plenty uh, your input is definitely going to be required uh, towards the end when it comes to the new dock area that we're building all right see you then hey gang Welcome back down to Lonely Pines. You're down here at Alice Springs. We're just about to depart this lovely city. And we're heading over to the uh, town of Calberry. Look at the sailors up there in the uh, doing their job. Good job, guys. Uh, we're heading over to Calberry now. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys this. So by the end of this intro, we're going to be pulling into the little holiday town destination of Calberry. Actually, Calberry is qu growing quite a fair bit. So... Uh, to say that it's little is uh, is an understatement these days. But I've done a little bit of decorating at the wharf there, just to really bring it up to spec and show you a little bit of what I wanted to do at some of these ports. Um, so probably now and then we'll drop in, we'll see what the other ports are up to and how theirs are coming along. But just, I, th I really think this one's coming along really well. It's got a bit of a sort of coastal holiday sort of theme. We've only got one holiday destination on the map and that's just outside of Bondi. Uh, but I thought I'd start putting one over here at Calberry and give them something to put a claim on the map. Anyway, we'll get to that. What are we doing today while we travel over to Calberry and pull in? Well, we're gonna just, we, we really need to go around and just check a couple of things and upgrade a couple of trucks and maybe even a couple of trains because there's some stuff on this map that is so old uh, that it's probably running us at a loss in, in a lot of aspects in some areas. Uh, it may or it may not be, but we could be doing better, I think. So we're going to just do a couple of those things before we turn our attention to the port up at Townsville where we want to start rehashing that uh, that uh, port, basically, that uh, big shipping port because it needs to be a lot bigger, uh, a lot uh, bulkier uh, because we're going to be potentially sending bigger, larger ships up there soon and a lot more of them. So we really need to ramp production up there, which is mean Townsville's going to be inundated with a lot of product and I don't know how well... Um, their freight and uh, train station is going to cope so that could be due for another big overhaul at some point in the future I didn't really want to uh, but I think we will open up that freight terminus at some point in Townsville okay so that's sort of the plans today where we're looking at uh, but I just wanted to bring you into here you can see there's a little lighthouse out there uh, just on that little peninsula as well just to show the ships where they can pull into port uh, into the headlands as you say now I have uh, I have an asset in my thing which has a lot of mangroves and that sort of stuff so I really wanted to encompass that sort of mangrove feeling along the banks of this town before you get into a bit of tropical and before we get that sort of beachy sort of vibe um, and there's a lot of palm leaves uh, palm trees and, and holiday destination I want to bring up on the Gold Coast as well at some point but you can see here doesn't look pretty good the mangroves have come up pretty well. I've got a little bit more work to do with the mangroves. But over here on the left, I think that just come up, it just came up really well. You can see over here, I would just spin this way, uh, what's going on here. So right, you've got some shops and restaurants and little like surf shacks where you can people can hire boats and stuff. There's a couple of little dinghies in here, a bit of restaurants and bars up here. Uh, so just nice sort of little holiday destination coming along. Let's get off the boat and have a look. Yeah, what do you think? In and around here, they can do some shopping and so forth, and a bistro, and um, yeah, all happening down here. Little captain in his boat down here, loading up his little uh, <laughs> boat to go fishing. Uh, so yeah, and you can see the mangroves starting to bank right around here, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably flesh that out a little bit more and get it looking a little bit more chunkier and uh, a little bit better. Okay, so that's what's going on. I hope you think that looks pretty good. I think it's starting to come up really well, and that's the sort of shape it's taking with Calberry. You can see Calberry's really taken off since we put this station and this commuter service in. 
So it's about time we start uh, dressing them up a little bit, and I think this is a really good start. Okay, let's get into the episode. So when it comes to updating some trucks on the map, first thing comes to first, we haven't been over the South Island for a long time, and just to give those new people that may not have seen Season 1, this is the South Island that I'm talking about right here, or the South Continent part of the map. We've been working over here lately, uh, a lot here. Uh, this is the Western side of the map, this is what I call the South. Then we've got uh, the Spit and Mount Isa in the middle of Mount Isa appropriately named because they're right up in the mountains of this um, of this beautiful little island. Then you've got Bondi, this is the east coast you're coming into now, the eastern coast. And then you've got the north up here with the Gold Coast, Humpty Doo, Sorrento. I would even classify a lot of these guys but they're more northeast I guess uh, because it's all divided by the water system. But uh, yeah, so this is the south island where we're at and it's been a long time since we've been down here and None more evident than the fact that there's a lot of dirt roads that still get around. Now, this steel mill here, which is uh, prevalent to getting a lot of goods manufactured and sent around. A, it's running on dirt roads, so it, it's slow as it is. And B, we're only getting, uh, storing one coal at a time here, right? Uh, and the other thing is shipment and production could be a lot better. This is not, I'm not going to punch all this out today. We're just going to do a couple of little upgrades and stuff here. You can see we're running old steamers like this chugger here as the passenger, which makes good money, but we can do better. Um, here's the iron that gets delivered up. It's running old chugger steams as well, right? So there gets plenty of iron up here. What we're not doing is getting plenty of coal. And the coal is right here and right here. These are our coal trucks. Right, let's just check the details on Look at these things. I mean, they've barely got tires on them. Uh, age, 122 hours these trucks have been running for. That is actual hours. Uh, if we go like this and set you to that, 150 years, in-game years, these trucks have been running. And they still make good money. <laughs> so... First things first today, I think what we'll do is we'll leave that on updated. We're going to do some road updates for them. Let's just get them some networks going. Sorry, I am losing my voice a little bit today too, so I do apologize. Uh, if the next few days my videos I do sound a little bit uh, like I'm losing my voice, uh, it, it is what it is sometimes. It can't be helped. But onwards and upwards, right? We don't stop. Don't stop. Won't stop. Okay, so roads instantly are going to upgrade to a capacity of 80 clickety clacks. Right, um. Look, that's town road, so I'll leave that. You can have that road there. I don't know where that one goes. It goes down to here, so we will put that down there just in case we ever need to uh, link anything up. Okay, you can have that. You can have that. We're not going to worry about that. There's auto save going on at the moment, so don't worry about that too much. Okay, so that's. Done. Let's get these iron mine ones sorted out also. Okay. Leave those ones dirt. I'm okay with the ones around the mines actually being dirt. Now this all this has to be dressed up as well. I like that it actually goes into the mountain to get around to the truck stop. You guys could be probably producing a little bit more, but that's okay. Uh what about this road? Okay, beauty. Right, uh, let's go trucks now. Manage the vehicles. Now we've got 10 vehicles on that, so select them all. Oh, let's see where they come in terms of how old they are. They're not even... Are they still on here? They should be, because we've got all these ones. I think they're these, the Mac AC flatbed, aren't they? Which are from 1916. Holy snapping duckfish. Now we do have a lot of uh, these trucks up here. Do we have like a dump version truck? Okay. I'm more after like a tipper style truck, but that's okay. 
They don't do it. They bring a lot. We don't want to really want to put those kinds of trucks on. I don't mind just having dump trucks. Like this, the man. These take 21. These are instantly going to be better. What was the capacity on those little things again? Eight. So we're going to go from a capacity of eight to a capacity of 21. Wow. Okay. Let's do it. Bang. That's going to be so much better. Okay. You guys here. These are even older. Holy dooly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe these are still... I think this is. there's a few of these still left on the map as well. Alright, so there's 10 of these. They are actually... Where are they? Oh no, hang on. We're looking at... Oh yeah, these. The Benz. Tarpaulin truck. These are from 1912. These are even earlier. So, we'll replace these with the same again, I think. We'll just keep with the man's. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Now these trucks here, where are you guys going? Manage these vehicles as well. Let's replace all these. Um, uh, hmm. You don't seem to be having as much in you. This is a dump truck, 19. I'll take this, yeah, just the gas. Something different, you know? Okay. Because the stone quarry is not pumping out as much, but if we can start ramping up these coal trucks, and the, and the other thing is, yeah, the, look at it's all going to be ramping up a little bit now. The other thing is, how about we do this? Configure cargo. Um, if we start to give you guys the ability to pick up from both sides, is that going to work? Do I wonder? Okay. Coal cargo platform. Can leave that for the moment. Let's say they can pick up from either or. They don't seem to be having trouble though, I don't think. Did he just spin around and come back for more again? Okay, manage this line for a second. Let's say at uh, Mandura Sightings, you guys can come into number two also. Actually, not number two also. Number one also. Round of the coal hopper. Let's get rid of some of these trees out of here too. I don't know why you guys decided to stay around, but okay, that's done. Alright, he's going to pull it. He's actually going to pull into there. Lovely. That's, uh... Oh, that's... Perfect. Look at that. It looks like it actually works. I think we might replace that with those as well. Because that actually looks the goods. Yeah, okay. Pause. Let's see how that goes. No, 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 no. I think we've just m miffed it then. Um, Endure sightings. Come in on three or one. Yep. Yeah, lovely. You'll have to go back around. <laughs> He's like, well, what happened there? Okay, I'll go back around. Okay, that's good. Let's do the same on the other one over here. So let's, uh, let's dress up this uh, this cargo platform. How about you do one before you do the other? Okay. You can't have one without the other. All right. Coal, coal. Oh, you can actually just override it kind of like that. Oh, no, we, we, I don't mind leaving it like that. Okay, give me one on this side then. Give me a um, couple of buildings. Tiddler. The Tiddler. Okay. Right, and same thing for these guys. Let's say they can come into number two also, okay, if they want. Alright. That'll be much better, and we could probably even ramp up how many trucks we've got on that service. Ah ha ha! Good upgrade, okay? So that should start producing a little bit more steel. 
for our trains that, uh, oh, these uh, steel trains could probably do with an upgrade too. Okay, let's have a look at them. Manage the vehicles. We've got two of them on here at the moment. They're running the crocodile. Okay. So we are running electric on them, are we? Do we have some kind of e? What's this? This locomotive used the latest technology with uh, Cyrostal. Control of the traction motors that maximize power was available without wheel slip. Ooh, that's kind of what we need. 2.9 a year to run that. 1.8 to run that. Ooh. The thing is, though, we could run more wagons. What we need to do is we need to be careful here that we don't upgrade this and start uh, cannibalizing into the steel train if I decide to put mixed wagons on it. Uh, let me just check out of here for a minute. So this is where we're getting the iron from, right? The iron gets pulled out of this big mining mountain over here and it gets sent, you can see here, all the way up around that way and into Cooktown Steel Mill. Where then uh, there's actually a steel train. Let me just check that steel train. Where is that one? Right, that's the steel train there. Okay, it's got a capacity of 132. How much steel do we have on the deck here? Ah, uh, okay, 180. Right. Ah, oh, we've got two trains doing it, okay. And we've still got how much on the deck? 197, right, well these guys can get an upgrade. Let's do the steel trains first, which might trigger us to be demanding more coal and more iron then. Okay, manage these vehicles. We're going to replace these steel trains. Thing is though, I don't know if I have a wagon that does a mix consist of all. So something that can bring iron ore up and something that can take steel back and we don't. Uh, that's okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, in fact, none of these take steel back. Oh. Tools. They take the completed items back. Okay, so it will be pretty much these flat cars still. Okay, well, we're running, what, 11 on those. So let's get them a new train anyway. Let's go with the diesels. And we're going to run the ED, EMD. Or we're going to run the GE. Um, I want to save the, the C40s for something else. I'll run a couple of these, though. We've still got good tractive effort for what we need. Okay, and then give me those state cars. Now we're running, we must be running sh smaller state cars because we had a, like 11 on those other ones. So if we get a capacity of maybe 180, 200 each, almost, almost 200, let's go with that. Oh, auto save, always. Have yourself a drink, Ham. Okay, I will. Okay, so they're in. Here's one right now. Right, let's watch him load up. We've got a 308 on here, so he'll take pretty much 200 of that, almost. Which will leave more for the next train to come. But what it's going to do is it's going to start really ramping up this shipment and transport right here. So it's going to start demanding more of this. Um, but yeah, faster trains are going to get more product around a lot quicker. We really need to upgrade you. I'm going to upgrade that before we move on again. Um, okay, so that's done. Let's upgrade our iron ones then. Maybe we'll put the GEs on the iron. This actual train service, this rail service is so busy all the time. We probably need to fix up because there's a lot of waiting going on for a lot of these things. All right, we're running two different trains here. We've got one electric. Oh, that's the stone one. That's why. Okay. Manage these vehicles. 
replace them. We're going to go with... For the iron, we might use the GE, because they're actually running heavier loads uphill as opposed to light, heavy loads downhill. Okay, do it. Oh, I'm excited about this. All right. Oh, more cars. Oh, nice. 1992 hit, and it was Alfa Romeo year, slash Volvo. <laughs> the old Ovlov, hey? All right, um, cargo wagons. Let's go with that now. So we got, um, do any of these take? No, they still don't. We need hoppers, though. Okay, so these take a capacity of 144. Get a couple of mixed colors. Oh, I like that red color. It's quite good. Give me a maroon one then. Take a color off. We're at 126 capacity now. A couple of these ones. Okay, that's 216. Let's try that for a little bit. Okay, here's one right here. Oh yeah. Lovely. Why have you still got... Why have you still got... And you're running mixed. Oh, this is super odd, this is. Now, these guys can't make steel quick enough for the amount of iron that's being delivered. I just want to see... I hope we haven't broken something here. Oh, look at the trains going everywhere. These are... Next time, we're not going to do these ones now. We're going to revisit this next game because I don't want to just spend the whole day uh, doing trains, but uh, doing train upgrades. But the uh, the oil um, line on this island is definitely going to need a rework with how much uh, the trains need upgrading. That is for sure, 100%. Let's just get the speed going here, please. I want to just see when you pull in how you're going to go. Better offload everything. Right, what's going on here? Why did you pull in there? Stone train. <gasps> did I upgrade the wrong train? Oh, dearie me, I've upgraded the wrong train. Then what's this one? It's the iron train. Right, I've got I've upgraded the wrong trains. Right, well you can actually manage the vehicles. <laughs> Whoops, we can actually take a couple of. Uh, I thought something was amiss here. I thought something was a little bit wrong. Let's edit this. You guys don't need that many wagons. Uh, and in fact, we might even take another one off here. Yeah, that's all you need, okay? Uh, is that right? You should just be taking stone to there. Is that your line? Just turn around for me for a sec. Go all the way in see where you go now because I think you're supposed to go this way yeah okay that's better Whew. right okay so that's that these are the trains we need to fix damn you bloody goose well it's been it's been a long time since I've actually been on this map so I actually want these trains again now Bugger on toast. Okay, yeah, put them on. Um, cargo. Now, these are running 10 wagons, and the wagons look like they were... Maybe... They would have been these ones at 12, right. So, about 120 capacity. That's what we said before, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. 
These are 20 ton, these are 30 ton. So that's 144 capacity already. Um, yep. Give me 180 capacity. That should do it for a bit. Let's see how they go. I uh, just don't want to make them too long before they don't actually fit. It's a stone. That's fine. Because we're delivering stone to the wharf to be sent over um, to go to the Conmats factory up over that way. I know, very convoluted, very big convoluted system. Look, I think what we'll do is... Where's our... Where's our... That's that one. Where's your mate? He's up here. See, if we make them too long... No, that's the stone. I don't want the... What is going on here? I keep clicking on the wrong ones. Right. Give me this. Give me that. Where are you? And where's your buddy? Right. He is... Ah, right. Okay. This is what I want to see. Is it? He just dropped off stone and now he's coming in here. This is what I wanted to see. Now he's coming in here. I just want to make sure their turnaround is going to be okay. Right, you can see how much stone actually does get delivered down there. Okay, so the stone and the iron trains are working together. So that's really a dumb system. I don't know why I just didn't make them all one line. Okay, well he's taking a full load. Alright. I think they're alright. Let's go. Let's see how you go. And he should go that way. Perfect. Okay. And we all rejoiced. Ships are going to be need a massive upgrade. So before we do that, we're actually going to fix that port where a lot of these ships head to up here. Because this port is just not big enough. This, this port ain't big enough for the two of us. Okay. Uh, how are we going to do it? Hmm, good question, well asked. This is going to be over the span of a couple of episodes, I think. Purely because we're going to need to maybe do a lot more earthwork. Potentially, it might even come down to this way and just carve out a big section here. It might even come out a little bit over this way, I'm thinking. So, let's hit pause. Um, do we want to do that? No. Let's just modify for a sec, configure... Yep. Go on. Get rid of that one too. It's a little bit slower, you know, when you actually have to delete in the modularity section of a of a um you know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm happy to leave. Let's take that one as well. Uh, leave that. Because I think we've got ships coming in there for the moment. I don't want to break everything. Okay. Um, also, is that truck stop being utilised? It is. Ah, for grain. Alright, let's uh, manage that line. Let's just send you into here for the moment, please. Townsville South, so help you do add station, this one. And or one, and get rid of that one. Okay, perfect. Oh, no, 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 too far. You've gone too far, man. Uh, I don't want to delete that. You have to go in here to delete that. Uh, also, you've deleted that, so why have you got a truck stop here? Ah, uh, they should connect up there. Come on, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. 
This has been uh, needed for a long time. I think a rework down here to because we with the ships that we're going to have to upgrade to are just going to need so much. Yep, so they're still connected. That's fine. Okay. Right, how are we going to do this? Well, we're actually going to probably have to carve out a bit of land, a fair bit of land. Give me the brush size up. Give me square. Give me strength. Okay. Sometimes you just got to take the things with a hammer. And this is one of those times. Now I'm actually thinking. Right, oops. Not that, that's for sure. We actually cut through this way. I would have liked to have come under the bridge this way and through here, but I don't know if that's going to be feasible. I don't want to... Yeah, okay. That's not, I don't think that'll work if I do that. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to carve a port entrance here. We're going to open up that channel through there. Don't take out too much of the beach of the Gold Coast. We're going to get that deeper through there. We might have to do bridge changes at some point too because if we get bigger ships start to come through, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it, Carton. Right? A little bit more room. Okay, and then... I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just get rid of that bit, Ham? Bah, because I don't want to get rid of all of the land. I actually want to um keep a little bit there to work on. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, this is definitely going to be interesting. You might need to put a bit of land back there. us to play with and just neaten that up right okay love your work ham thank you thank you very much now i think with these you can only go so far before they don't work so it might have end up being two separate looking sort of ports um working as one okay let's first of all configure right um I think what we want to do is yeah let's take you down that way yep yep and then what we've got no more room for any that way dog name it okay what about if you put one of these in Bugger on toast. I think that's in the wrong spot. Although you're not letting me allow, allowing me, sorry, to build anything there. I wonder if that is because of this. Uh, that's okay. Give me this for a sec. Okay, that's where we want that. Which is good because we're going to put that there. Um, actually, I'm going to move it. Yeah, I'm going to move it like that. Yep. Don't worry, these aren't staying here. These are temporary, just so I can get it, um, get it all even. Okay, that's good. Right. What just happened then? I did not mean to do that. I hate how it takes a bit to think about it. That's what I wanted there. Perfect. Uh, you actually might have to come that way, like that.
Okay, and then I think what we're going to do with you. Sorry, mate, your house is probably going to be gone skis. Uh, this whole street's probably going to be gone skis, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more carving out here shortly. Come on, that's it, that's it. Although, are you offset on the back of that, aren't you? I don't know if that'll work. Oh, that will work. Okay, and then we're gonna see, I wonder if we should have sat you in there. But I don't mind having one out a little bit further, or, huh. Now the trouble is, we probably should have some of these joined, in all fairness. But I did want a, a port where we could actually come in this way and out and around if we need to. Unless we do it so it's just got areas for other ships to pull in. I think we do. We're going to give ourselves plenty of platforms here, I think, to work off. That's that's what we're going to do. Okay, do that then. Right, we want a dock section out here. We want one in here. Uh, can you face that way? Yes, that's perfect. And then I want a tiddler in there. It's a shame I cannot get a building over here. I might have to move that truck stop. Ah, bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, let's let's go for it. Yeah, I know game, just give me a second. Okay, this had to happen, I think. Okay, looking good, looking good. I don't know, this this is this is um this is take this is mark one. We could go to mark two or mark three version of this uh this wharf eventually. But what I'm giving myself is the ability to land ships at multiple different areas. Uh you could e no leave that there. We can always extend these out further if we need, which is fine. Okay. What do you want to do under here? Anything? Can't do much there, except we could put some tiddlers like that along. And yeah, put the tiddler in. Okay. Plus then don't don't try and face value what it looks like now based on that looks like a giant octopus mess. Uh we're gonna dress it up, make it look like a docks, like it's it's gonna look right, okay? Uh the point is it's it needs to look busy. Okay, that won't work there. That's okay. Right. I think that's all we're going to leave it at at the moment. Let's put our truck stop back in so we can get our deliveries. Uh, so we can get our... Just so we can keep basic needs going. Without breaking the game too much. Okay. Uh, give me... You can have 20... Right, give me that. I'm thinking I actually might move a truck stop around that way, that's all. Okay, that's fine. Configure that. Give me a little bit more um, capacity for it. Okay. Right. Now you've got this in the way, haven't you? Yeah, that doesn't look right now. That's okay. What I actually want to do is do this. Do I? Kind of defeats the purpose of that though, doesn't it? Uh, okay. 
what I do want to do is do you want to give it the look that it does have it's on a bit of land okay that's good take this out though because we're actually going to use these No, what are you doing? I am taking you from there, my friend. Luckily, you can't really see under the water a lot of time. I do want to take you back. Uh, you guys aren't actually thing in there, so I want to leave land in here. Okay, and take that just out of that there a bit. You can I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. It's better. Okay. Uh, and this one, please. Right. Okay, so that's opened that up a lot more. Let's, we just got one last thing to do. I want to see where we're going to be able to put our landing pads in. Landing pads? We can put one there. And we can't put one there because of that. Have one there. We can have one there, that's perfect. So I need to clear some of that out. Can have one there. Can have one. We can't have one there yet. I need to clear some more of that out. That's fine. Can we put a little one on you? No. I want a little one on you. Outside. Okay, so navigatable waters need to be fixed. You're fine. You're fine. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, and you don't get one because you're buried in there, but that's fine. Let's just fix up, do a little bit more earthwork. Right. Like that. Try that. Give me a landing zone now. Ha ha ha. No, because of that. See, you haven't fixed that up properly. Yeah, well, you know what? It's really hard to see down there sometimes. Take it right back because you can put it back later. Good, now we've got room for a little tiddler to do a little runabout come in. Who was the other one that we had trouble with? In here. Okay, try that. Oops, wrong button. Configure. Yeah, that's the one. Outside. Ah, it's still a bit there. I'll get you, Gadget. Bob's your uncle. Okay, lovely. Let's, uh, I'm not happy with that though. <laughs> it does my head in. Uh, leave it. It works. It's fine. Leave it. Okay, leave it. Uh, what are you going to do about all that? Yeah, that looks horrible. Let's, let's get a bit of smoothage going on through here just for a second. Okay. Otherwise that the shelf has just a horrible drop off look. Ah, uh, that's fine, leave the rest of it. Right, phase one of Wharf done. If we now click on this, 
Was there supposed to be a third line in there? I think we're good. I think it's okay. I thought there were three lines in that one, but I might have been wrong. Might have just been two. Right, so that is phase one of the new dock system. I think, I don't know if I'll keep this bit here or if I might put it across that way, potentially. Uh, but what, what's going to have to happen is a lot of waypoint systems now. I did want to leave that open, but at the same time, I actually am okay with actually having that as a pull-in port. Ships to come around and pull in there. Uh, and conversely, I, I don't mind them having to come around here and here. Okay, that's the whole point of it. Is to uh, open it up. Not too sure about this. This might get a rework. Hmm. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is phase one. Look at all the all the money that we've been spending uh, out of the uh, budget. That's okay. We've got squillions of millions of old mates. What are you? Tools. Goods. You're not doing a very good job at it. You're supposed to be bringing goods in, I assume, and then taking tools back. All right, all that needs to be looked at, reworked, and redressed. I mean, we did just muck a lot of stuff around, so I can understand why there'd be a lot of stuff up in the air at the moment. But, a bit happier, because now we've got a lot more room to send ships in and around. Still think I might ditch that whole complex right there and set up a different kind of port system in here for it. I'll see. We've got a lot of dressing stuff we can use in here to uh, to make this, you know, port look, you know, legit, if that makes sense, uh, to make it look just a lot portier, <laughs> basically. Um, I think, was there one more thing I wanted to go through before we just headed off today? I don't know, can't remember. But glad we started fixing up a lot of, upgrading a lot of stuff. We're going to be continuing that upgrade for a little bit just to bring everything up to spec and into the future. We can't be just running old steam, steam hoofers uh, from back in the day. But uh, I think these guys are still doing all right. Although, you're not... I mean, they probably need a little bit of time to get set in. They've only just, you know, been put in. And I had a pause, so we'll see how they're going next time. How's our ships doing over here? 22 of 150, so they got a bit of time to go before they start getting people lifted and shifted around the place, but uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, join me next time where we keep working on our port and we try and bring it up to scratch. Uh, really, it's to just increase the capacity so we can send bigger and more ships inbound, that's all. We're gonna need the, uh, we're gonna need the landing uh, zones for them. That's, what I, that's why I need to do that upgrade. Okay. Right, so this is the train we are going to now ride today. That is for sure. Are you dropping off all your iron or are you just going to carry some around with you there, buddy? Come on. We've got a ride along to do. Oh, it is, it is, man. It must be full in the end. Okay, it just can't take all the iron. Okay, let's, um, let's hop on the good foot. But we want to go this speed, thanks. That's it. Enjoy the ride along, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now.